Grace Knight Babson was born December 12, 1873, to Richard and Jane Knight. An ordained minister, her father's dedication to sermon would instill in her a call to service that would last across her lifetime. She attended college at both the University of Minnesota and Holyoke College in Massachusetts before receiving formal nurses' training. While at Holyoke, Grace endured the hardship of both a mumps and measles outbreak, learned to play basketball, and volunteered with the fire brigade. In 1900, with scarcely $1,200 between them, she married Roger W. Babson. Grace's skills as a nurse were soon put to test when Roger contracted tuberculosis. While nursing her husband back to health, Grace returned to a previous interest in the teachings of Sir Isaac Newton and began to research the application of his principles to business. With her husband's health returned, Grace intensified her research and set off on several trips to England to study Newton in his own environment. Through these trips, Grace gradually acquired the third largest collection of materials related to Newton in the world. Grace and Roger combined their interest in Newton and investments to form the Babson Reports. Roger applied the theory of actions and reactions to economics, giving rise to the Babson Chart of Economic Indicators, which assessed current and predicted future business conditions. Although the Babson Chart has since proved to be an imperfect tool, Roger Babson earned the distinction of being the first financial forecaster to predict the stock market crash of October 1929. In the 1920s, the Babsons purchased a winter home in the Mountain Lake community of Lake Wales. This afforded Roger the opportunity to invest in the neighboring Crooked Lake development. After much study of the land, the Babsons purchased several hundred acres and presented the residents with as fine a plan for development as could be imagined. The town changed its name to Babson Park and construction on a bank, offices, and apartments began with earnest. Grace would later oversee an addition to an enhancement of the furnace to the women's club. Then, in 1926, the Florida real estate bubble burst and the new building stayed vacant. Since the Babsons had already established a college for men at Babson Park, Massachusetts, Grace suggested establishing a business school for women and making use of the buildings in Florida. On April 6, 1927, under statute number 4499 of the state of Florida, Weber College was granted charter with the right to prescribe a course of study and to confer degrees. The charter was granted in time for the birth of the Babson's only granddaughter, Camilla Grace Weber. Grace ensured that the college hosted an annual lecture series that was also free to the public of the entire Ridge community. Owing to her commitment to education and learning, she was awarded an honorary doctorate of education by Florida Southern College in 1934. Weber College remains in operation today at Babson Park as Weber International University and is open to both men and women. In 1956, Grace Babson attended a Founders Day celebration on campus where the students and faculty honored her with a crystal bowl, a token of their appreciation. As remembered by Alice Byron in 1962, she had a lovely spirit for she wanted always to serve. She wanted to serve young people, to do something helpful for them. Grace Babson died in 1956 at 83 years old. Her generosity afforded one third of her estate to the continued development of Weber College and another one third to the study and conservation of the Newtonian collection which resides at Babson College.